I first saw The Shining on VHS at a slumber party and was utterly unprepared for it. And I was never the same. I always wondered what happened to Danny when he grew up, and I felt that I had a story to tell. Danny Torrance is still being haunted by the events that took place at the Overlook Hotel. The Shining refers to psychic ability, people who can actually affect the, the physical world with their thoughts, um, read the minds of others. Danny is so traumatized by what he's been through, he has no idea how to deal with this. One of the things that I wanted to see was a man at the end of his road. What do you want to do here? Something different than I've been doing, something better. You can't really recover until you finally reach your bottom. And I wanted to see that in Dan on the screen. Dan Torrance's philosophy early on in the story is not to use the shine. He's drunk to suppress the horrible visitations, the spirits that are from the Overlook Hotel. You're magic, like me. I always called it the shining. This is a story that's about Dan, still out there dealing with the shining in a world that is dark and horrifying. <laughs> These devils. They'll eat what shines. We see people that we can relate to. That's to a large extent what makes the scary part scary. You are a special little thing, aren't you? Dan's worst fear, the worst thing you could imagine, is for him to have to come back to the hotel. Mike's movie stands on its own, but it's also a terrific sequel to Stanley Kubrick's film. This is for anyone who is going to enjoy being petrified in a movie theater. It was a movie I was desperate to see.